Praise the Lord, Chrislam has arisen, but it is not the same Chrislam that the Pope, uh, who has said that all faiths are the same. Uh, this is the faith of our risen Good Shepherd over all the flocks of man. John 10, all opposed to that, are opposed to his prayer that he uttered in Gethsemane. These are the days of the harvest, and welcome to the Harvest Channel, where people can finally come to understand that Jesus is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper, the manifested prophecy of Amos 9. So arise, shine, light of love has come, Unity, there is victory therein if we arise in love. And Chrislam is the uh, name of Israel because now they have inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3, 4 told this. So praise the Lord that uh, the covenant was always correctly written to Israel and all mankind and things got swift by mankind's uh, understandings uh, being off-center. And these are the days when uh, prophecy of Hebrews 8 shall come to pass. For the kingdom age covenant has been given, and as Paul said in Hebrews 8, all faith on earth aside from Chrislam is now obsolete. For our Lord God is saying to one and all of us, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I shall never remember it. Jesus said all sin shall be forgiven except the unforgivable sin. So leave the walking dead if you've let your love wax cold and become uh, next to non-existent, having the form of godliness but denying the power thereof. We must be as little children with our love alive and moving as a verb. So come out of Babylon, people. It is Chrislam time.